Hi guys, welcome to this beautiful Magnolia watercolour painting and it's part of my No Masking Fluid, No Problems series of tutorials. So if you don't have access to masking fluid or you don't like using masking fluid, I'm going to talk about sort of the alternative ways that you can paint a light coloured flower like this Magnolia without the use of masking fluid. So shall we get started? This is the reference photograph that I'm using. It is a photo that I took um, a couple of months ago. I just loved uh, this beautiful magnolia with the wonderful, almost abstract background. And I'm gonna show you also how to create this background. For a full list of all the materials I'm gonna be using, please see the description below. I will also have color alternatives there. I'm using a really simple color palette. I'm using four colours, Ultramarine, Quinacridone Magenta and Hansa Yellow Light. And then I'm using uh, Quinacridone Gold as well to get some more earthy tones. I've sketched out my Magnolia with an HB pencil onto rough 300 grams watercolour paper. And I'm using my size six round brush painting wet into wet, very, very light tonal values here using the quinacridone magenta and lots of water. I've now mixed up some ultramarine and some Hansa yellow light to paint this very yellow green and I'm painting this wet on dry just tickling the paint on with my size six brush. I'm dropping wet into wet a little bit of the quinacridone gold and I don't mind if it bleeds as well into the petals, it just creates some nice colours and textures. I've mixed up all three primary colours here, the quinacridone gold, magenta and ultramarine to create this more neutral tone for the stems. And I'm just using some more yellow green here, starting off wet on dry and then dropping in slightly warmer tones, wet into wet. If you would like access to downloadable sketches, why not check out my Patreon membership? Details about that can be found in the description below. You'll also find longer versions with more voiceover and lots more discussion about technique and colour mixing. The tutorials are ad-free and you can cancel any time. So I'm painting some of these magnolias wet on dry in the background, um, but they're very, very pale because they're the ones that are sort of very sort of fuzzy in the background. So it's to create a little bit of depth here and I'm using the magenta and then a very sort of pale sort of grey green for the stems. So I've allowed my painting to dry and I'm just working in the centre here using some of the magenta on its own, wet on dry and then just pushing some water down into the centre here to create some nice darker tonal values. I'm just using my size 6 brush to also paint this vein going down the centre and using my plastic card here to scratch into the watercolour paper to create some very thin vein lines. It's quite a nice way to get the details here. As you can see there, I'm just building up some darks and details and just painting some more darks on the leaves here as well. painting some very dilute greys there on the petals and building up some of the dark tonal values here just using these three colours mixed and it's, it's so interesting just using this limited palette you can get so much variety again using the plastic card to create some really thin lines. So 
nice working with these really pretty colours. I've allowed my painting to dry. I'm using my size 14 brush. I've wet the background. I'm using ultramarine on its own, wet into wet. It's quite pale and it's just really to represent this sky in the background and to keep it really almost semi-abstract and just sort of dropping it in wet and wet, leaving little white gaps as well. I'm painting damp into damp now, a mixture of the ultramarine, a little bit of magenta, a bit of quinacridone gold, quite creamy. So you can see it's quite a nice, lush, creamy colour. I'm going to paint this damp into wet and damp into damp just to create these dark stems here and there. So I'm working on the left side. I haven't wet the right side, so it will give me time just to sort of, if I wet the whole thing, the other side will dry too quickly. So I'm just using some of the quinacridone gold, touch of pink, touch of blue, to create this sort of just dark, earthy yellow colour, painting it wet in wet with my size six brush, trying not to touch the magnolia, of course, but just having fun painting around. And this is a very sort of dark colour now. So it's the ultramarine quinacridone gold, quinacridone magenta more ultramarine and just painting it around this petal here to really bring out the light of the petal there and using my size six brush being very careful not to touch it and just softening and blending as I go So I've thrown a little bit of salt on the left hand side and I'm working on the right hand side. Very similar technique, went on with the ultramarine first, then some earthy tones, some really bright yellow green as well, working wet into wet or damp into wet if you don't want it to run too quickly and blend in. And it's quite nice that little bit of yellow there as well. Again, I'm going back around the magnolia using this very dark color. And again, just a reminder, it's a mixture of the ultramarine, a touch of magenta and a touch of the quinacridone gold, just blending as I go. It's such a nice way of painting backgrounds this. It creates, it's almost blurry, so it pushes everything in the background back and brings the magnolia forward. And as you saw there, I painted around the magnolia and that way you don't have to use masking fluid. You just paint around an object. You just wet around it. And if the background's wet, the magnolia is dry, it won't run onto the magnolia. So it's quite nice. And it's just nice not to have to use masking fluid. So I've allowed my painting to dry. I'm actually going to work up upside down so it's easier to get access to the top of the magnolia this way. I really want to bring it out without using obviously any masking fluid but bring out that light of the watercolour paper by using dark tones in the background. So dark around the edges of the magnolia there and then soften and blend with clean water. So it really pops that magnolia out there. Now if you don't have masking fluid and you lose some of your light you can use white gouache. I find that's the best. If you don't have white gouache you can use white watercolor paint white um, ink or even acrylic white acrylic paint or even pastels actually whatever you have to hand but I'm just sort of bringing out some of the light edges here um, of the magnolia and now I'm spattering a little bit now with white gouache mixed with a little touch of the pink just to finish off my painting so here is the finished painting. I'm delighted with it. I really loved painting that background, the sort of fuzzy, soft, wet on wet sort of edges there, creating sort of depth, bringing that magnolia forward without the use of masking fluid. So I really hope you found it helpful and that it inspires you to have a go at maybe painting this magnolia or something similar. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments section below. And if you'd like to see more tutorials like this, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel where you will get updates of my latest tutorials. And for those of you that would like more in-depth tutorials, lots more voiceovers, colour explanations, planning the painting, 
bonus goodies, ad-free content, you name it, and downloadable sketches as well, check out my Patreon membership. And if you have any questions, again, put them in the comments section below. Thank you again for watching. Happy painting. Bye for now.